Hi there, I just wanted to uh, talk about my experience with the LFP battery. I have a 2022 um, Model 3 Tesla and uh, it's got the new battery that um, had me worried. Um, I've read reports coming out of China and some in Germany where um, the battery seemed to not be charging properly and it wasn't at the same performance as the previous battery. On, uh, for example, I used to have a 2020 um, Tesla Model 3 with what's called the N, I think it's called the NCA battery. Um, and yeah, I, I was nervous getting this 2022. So I just want to give you my experience with it. Um, what I've noticed is that, first of all, this battery is not, I, I didn't have a uh, reason to be totally nervous. The only problem I'm seeing with this new LFP battery in a place like Canada is that it has to, uh, the battery has to be above zero in order to charge properly. And so, um, and I mean zero degrees Celsius, okay, coming from Canada. So that means that if you go to plug this battery in and the car is cold in the winter, it's minus 20, and you go to a supercharger and it has not properly warmed up the battery yet, you're going to be... Uh, disappointed in that. Uh, it's going to take a little while to heat the battery first before you get the full supercharge. Um, I'm a person that doesn't have a garage and so my car has to face the elements here in Canada and so um, yeah it sometimes takes a little longer to charge and I've noticed that when I want to leave in the morning and I want the battery at a certain percent um, that's that's called scheduled charging um, uh, it sometimes isn't at where I would hope it would be, but um, whew, those are the negatives about the battery. Um, the positives are that it's been working fine through the winter. The car, I mean, Tesla doesn't seem to argue. Um, they don't seem to argue online uh, about why this battery will be fine in Canada. Maybe they should, but... Um, yeah, because the car heats the battery first and then allows the battery to charge, you know they solve that problem that way. Um, I'll show you a I'll show you a look at my screen here. I've now driven 8,000 kilometers through the winter with this battery. Um, I got this car in January uh, of 2022, and it is now March. So I've been through the coldest winter here now. It's getting warmer out, and I'll just flip my uh, phone around here. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, I wasn't able to flip my phone around, so I'll just um, show you. I've driven 8,300 kilometers now. I've used that much energy. And uh, here in Canada, we pay about uh, 8.2 cents per kilowatt hour. So you'll see, <laughs> with the price of gas, I have saved almost, I don't know, between five and $600 per month because I'm driving. Look at I've had it only a, a couple months, and look how many kilometers I've put on it. So I just wanted to show this here for people that own Teslas. Um, this is not bad for winter driving. 175 watt hours per kilometer is very good. So this battery is doing quite well overall. And, uh, and today, like today I just drove, uh, let's see, I just drove 64 kilometers and it used about 146 watt hours per kilometer. And um, let's see, that's the temperature here right now, minus two. So, so in conclusion, I just want to tell you that maybe this battery isn't as scary as I thought it would be. It's, uh, it seems to be working fine. And uh, overall, I'm pleased with it. The 2022, I, I love all the features about it. And uh, yeah, I loved, my, uh, I loved my 2020 Tesla. The only reason why I sold it Someone offered me, after 35,000 kilometers, someone offered me a few thousand dollars less than what I paid for it. And nowadays, cars depreciate so quickly, so I just couldn't pass it up. When I did the math, I was like, wow, I haven't even spent, if I divide the money that I'm losing, it's not even 200 bucks a month. And um, that's, that's much cheaper than leasing a car. So... For those of us out there that are not super rich and just can't afford to just pay off a Tesla and it's no big deal, um, I, I like the way that it holds its value and um, 
holy cow, the amount of money I'm saving per month on my daily commute is almost the price of a, a car payment in itself. Okay, thanks for listening. Take care.